guys, welcome to Phil's Tech Help, and today I'm going to be reviewing Winx DVD Ripper for Mac. Winx DVD Ripper for Mac allows you to rip the DVD contents from videos on uh, recorded on DVDs and transfer them to movie files to store them on your computer or in your iTunes library. So this program costs $35.99, it's at a holiday discount right now. There's also a Windows version available, and let's go ahead and show you the program itself. So um, here is um, Winx DVD Ripper for Mac. It allows you to uh, take the ISO right off a of disk, which is useful if you want to like get a Windows ISO on your desktop or something. And you can uh, create a folder of DVD contents right from RIP. And unfortunately I have a MacBook Air so I won't be able to demonstrate the DVD ripping functionality. But it's really simple. Anyways, you just click the DVD button, you select your source disk. You then select the folder path where you want to save the movie file, and if you want to save an ISO image of the DVD, which you probably don't if it's just a video, then you click that. And then you have a wide range of formats available. Um, they're really cool. Here, we, here, here's some info. See, we have a WinX DVD ripper for Mac. I have a giveaway copy, and um, is it, it? You can check for updates here. Yeah, it's pretty useful right there. And um, you can also go into settings, default audio language. So if you have like a French DVD, you won't use English as its main language. And if you're Italiano, then it will use Italia as its main language. Like this is a really useful program and I highly recommend it. And even though I was given a free giveaway copy, I, I will definitely be purchasing this software in the future. <laughs> Anyways, guys, here you can also preview the DVD right here. Just push the play button and it previews the DVD file disk type mode. And you can use a high quality engine, safe mode. If the DVD is scratched, it won't instantly like back off from the stuff and just continue. And you can deinterlacing. In case you don't know what deinterlacing is, is deinterlacing is a passive image compression method that basically slows down the copyrighted works infringement system design logo. Anyways, you can also select four cores. This Mac has four threads, but only um, two actual cores, so I'd actually recommend selecting two cores. And um, yeah, you can also get an ISO image and stuff. You can add the folder, DVD folder right here. So anyways, all these buttons just bring up the same pop-up. And uh, this is our destination folder. I wish I had a DVD thingy um, in my computer, but unfortunately I'm, I don't, so I won't be able to show you the DVD writing features. But other than that, this is an amazing program that gives you some uh, DVD great functionality. And in case you don't know what DVD ripping is, I can go ahead and explain it again. Basically, it takes the files from the DVD and allows it to you to save it to your personal hard drive for access anytime so you can copy stuff to your iPod. And what this program allows you to do is create specific formats for the iPod. For example, if you want to save the videos to your iPhone, just save it to your iPhone after you rip the DVD. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this quick Phil's Tech Help episode. I will be back tomorrow with more Phil's Tech Help videos. <laughs>